Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture, to honor her, and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son, to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past, we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters, we have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy, may we always live as your truly devoted children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us your children as we now ask you to help us, in all our needs especially this one. Pause to recall your petition. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence, in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We, too, have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith, and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers, in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross, in the footsteps of your Divine Son. Help us to realize, that he who shares the cross of Christ, will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions, and for the intentions, of all here present at this novena, 
we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God, all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us, from our Heavenly Father, and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection, and confidently hope, for your powerful help. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families, with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage, bind husbands and wives so closely together, that they will always be faithful to each other, and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents, may they love and cherish their children, whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example, of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children, in the love and fear of God. Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility, that we may do our part, in making our home, a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign, in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother help us. that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother help us, that we may be more and more like our Divine Lord, as you were. Loving Mother help us, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother help us, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother help us, that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother help us, that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother help us, that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother help us, that we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother help us, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother help us, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother help us, that we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother help us, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother help us, that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother help us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother help us, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother help us, that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother help us, that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother help us, to pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen the Pope, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother help us, that we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother help us, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother help us, that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother help us, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother help us, 
that we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men and women. Loving Mother help us, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother help us, to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother help us, let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, help us in our needs, pray for all the people of God, may all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us, grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Consecration to our Mother of Perpetual Help Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church you are also our mother of perpetual help. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves, to your immaculate heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins, and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and live not for ourselves, but for Christ your Son, and that we may see Him, and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that, consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your Divine Son for all eternity. Amen.
thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father, that in you, all his fullness should dwell, and that through you, he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful, for all, that our Father has done for us. Grant, that we may be truly sorry for our sins, and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father, for sending you to us, as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation, by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us, your own mother, to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors, we have received through her intercession, and especially through the Novena, inspire us to greater confidence, in God's loving mercy, and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always, do the holy will of God, and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be, honor, glory and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Pause for silent prayer. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, You bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows, in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down, with pain and other afflictions of illness, may realize that they are among the chosen ones, whom you called blessed. Help them to understand, that they are united with you in your sufferings, for the salvation of the world. Amen. Proclaim that Paschal mystery in the sacramental signs of the Eucharist. Help us to see ever growing in us the fruits of your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Divine Praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclet. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help and sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I hasten to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you, I come. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, do not despise my petition. But in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.